Uh, okay, uh, now we'll uh, describe both the external cephalic version uh, in case of uh, a breech presentation and also the, no the vaginal delivery for a breech baby. We'll not go into details of uh, theoretical uh, issues in the uh, external cephalic version, but the, the maneuver itself, of course, you have to, and you can do it after 36 weeks, 37 and beyond, it's, it's the best time. And um, basically, I, there should be no engagement. So uh, what you do uh, after giving the tocolytics and doing CTG for 20 minutes and so on, the maneuver itself, uh, this is of course, it's covered by the abdomen. So first you try to disimpact the buttocks or the breech part. And by the other hand, you push in the direction of flexion of the head. Okay, and then you try to slowly uh, but surely uh, reverse it until you uh, well, reach the end and that's it. So after that, you have to again monitor by uh, doing a CTG, by doing per vaginal examination and keeping the patient for two hours to make sure that there are no uh, complications. Okay, uh, now let's move on to uh, the, bre uh, the vaginal delivery for breach. So the woman didn't come for uh, external cephalic version or there was a contraindication to cephalic uh, version and the woman either presented in already started labor or uh, she just opted for vaginal delivery. So how do you deliver a baby in breach? Well, first of all, yani, it depends on the type. If it is com yani, by complete breach, we mean that there is flexion of the thigh and flexion of the knee joint as well. This is complete breach. In the frank breach, it means there is flexion of the thigh, but there is extension of the knee. Only in these two types can we do the vaginal delivery. If it is incomplete breach, that is, there is extension of the thigh, then we cannot do vaginal delivery, and it has to go to cesarean section. So now when we're, when we're talking about vaginal delivery, it's either this, which is called frank breach, or it is complete, okay, just like this. All right, so <clears throat> first you wait. When, there is, when the vaginal delivery starts, when the, when the labor starts, you wait, you do nothing. This is called hands-off procedure. So my hands are in, but my hands off. You wait until the buttocks and the anus and these things appear, okay? Now, if it was already a complete breach, that means that the legs would be like this. So again, you, do, you, you, you take your hands off until and all of these things come out. Because it's already like this, it will, be, it will easily come out. So, but let's assume that it's not complete breach. Let's assume that it is frank breach. So you've waited hands off procedure until the buttocks and the anus appear. Now the legs are not coming. So what you do, it's called pinard maneuver. Uh, you push on the popliteal fossa. Uh, okay, let's see, the baby's like this. You push like this in order to flex the knee. Now this uh, plastic baby is difficult to flex, so uh, I'll slightly modify the maneuver. But you get the point. You have to push on the popliteal fossa, okay, until the, the legs come up. So after that, uh, now the, the, the trunk is coming down, you have to deliver the cord in order to avoid compression on it and also to make sure or to know whether the cord is short or not. Uh, the baby will, uh, the, the shoulders will enter the, the pelvic brim in a transverse uh, direction and after that there will be restitution. When this happens you will see the scapula. Uh, so in order to deliver at this moment, uh, first you have to deliver the arms. Uh, how do you do it? You will uh, put pressure, okay, so you'll go inside, this is called loft set maneuver. You will put pressure on the anticubital fossa, okay, so just come to this side. This is on the anticubital fossa. I'll push it down until I deliver the, uh, that, that arm, okay. And then in order to do it for the other one as well, I'll rotate the baby from outside. So I'll do like this, and then I'll deliver this arm as well, okay. So I'm doing it like this. And then I'll rotate the baby as well until, uh, until the, uh, it further comes down until I see the hairline, okay? The posterior hairline. At this moment, I can either put the baby on this arm of mine and with these three fingers, I'll push on the face. So I'll push on the mouth and the, and the maxillary prominences, okay? And with the other hand, I'll push on the back of the head and this will deliver uh, or this will facilitate the delivery. Uh, another way is when the baby and it comes to this position and I can see the posterior hairline, I can put a towel under, underneath the baby and deliver by forceps on both sides. Uh, I think Wrigley forceps or something. Uh, or alternatively, I can just hyperextend the body of the baby until it's delivered. Thank you.